Welcome to the caucus, everybody. I'll, I'll just go over the rules and everything. Um, we're going to call for nominations for secretary, so we need to elect a secretary now. All those in favor? Aye. All right. Wendy is the secretary. <clears throat> okay, and then do we, st do we need to do the towers? No, I'll do that. Okay. All right. And then I'm now going to go over the exciting caucus rules. I'll try to go through them as quickly as possible without putting everybody to sleep. <clears throat> We're going to go through. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have ten positions here that we'll be um, nominating for, and for each one we'll do the nomination and ask for seconds. <clears throat> if there's more than one person nominated for a position, colored paper ballots will be distributed to qualified voters. Voters will write in their choice on the paper and place it in the ballot box. Right there. Both names will be placed on the ballot if there is a tie. The person not receiving the nomination may take out nomination papers with the town clerk, which will be available on March 6th at the caucus. The candidate must get 20 signatures of qualified voters and must must, they, those must be returned by Monday, March 13th. Five extra signatures would be a nice little cushion on there, just in case. <clears throat> All caucus nominees must sign the caucus certificate if they choose to accept the nomination, which should be done before they leave or by Wednesday, March 8th. Nominees need to pick up campaign finance forms. The town meeting will be held on Friday, April 28th, and town election is Saturday, May 6th. And the last day to register to vote is April 8th from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. for the annual election and town meeting. All right. We ready to roll? Okay. All right. <clears throat> so the first, we have a, a nomination for the selectman for a position of one, uh, one selectman for three years. Am I hearing? All right. Any seconds? Second. All those in favor? Aye. All right. The next one we have is an assessor, one for three years. Do you want to read the incumbent that's hanging through that? Or? Do you want me to read those as we go through them? Okay. Yeah? Okay. All right. And do we have a nomination for that? Yes. I nominate Marianne Claude. All right. Any seconds? Second. Second. All right. All right. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. <clears throat> All set? Okay. Just let me know if I'm going too fast. Okay. Uh, we have Board of Health. We have one for three years. And do I hear any nominations? Christy Pachorek. All right. Any seconds? Second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. All right. And we have a planning board position. <clears throat> do I hear any nominations for that? Who's the incumbent? We have Steve Schneider. <laughs> I know people are always a little cautious when they're not here. Okay, any seconds? Second. All right, all those in favor? Aye. Okay. All right, library trustee, we have three for three years. You want to read the, uh, the names of those? I can do that. There's Natalie Blaze, Gerald Bridwell, and Valerie Voorhees. Um, so we'll start with um, the first one. Uh, yeah, you can do them all together. Oh, they can we can do them together. all together then, okay. Even easier. Yeah. All right. Any seconds? Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. All right. We're just burning through this tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have library trustees. We have one for one year. This is filling out uh, Richard Lepatka's term when he stepped down. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. All right. Congratulations. All right. Um, Hard yeah. <laughs> and moderator, we have one for one year. I mean, we have Bob Doobie in there right now. So do we hear any? I don't see Bob tonight. Oh, there he is. Hey. All right. All right. Uh, nominations? We'll nominate Bob Doobie, moderator, for one year. All right. Any seconds? Second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. All right. And cemetery trustee. We have one for three years. Right now we have Janet Bergeron. Unable to attend, but I'll nominate her. <laughs> Second. Did you have dinner already? Or? <laughs> I did. Yeah. All right. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. And we have elementary school. 
the elementary school committee. We have two for three years. We have Gregory Gottschalk and Keith McFarland on there right now. I nominate uh, Gregory Gottschalk and Keith McFarland. All right. Any seconds? Second. Second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. All right. And the Frontier Regional School Committee, we have one for three years, who currently is Lynn Roberts. Any nominations? I nominate Lynn Roberts. All right. Uh, second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. That is it. Uh, let's see. That's it. We've gone through our whole list. So. Yeah, no, we have to read a motion. Okay, just this right here. Is there a motion that in the case of death, withdrawal, or ineligibility of the candidate or candidates so nominated, the vacancy or vacancies shall be as follows to be filled by the Board of Selectmen? Motion. We have a second? Second. second. Yeah. I think one was missed. Which one? For Board of Health. Board of Health. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, it's okay, no problem. I was like, I was hoping I didn't have one on there. Okay, so do we have a, do, I, I thought I heard a motion on that one. Did I? Take a second. Okay, I'm going to say, okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. And, uh, okay, so don't forget to take your campaign finance forms, and uh, do we have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. All right. Oh, my gosh, I have to thank all you guys for coming. Yeah, we appreciate it. Seven minutes. <laughs> and, and we had three over what we needed, so thanks. You guys are the best. Hey, um, I'll, I'll send you a text to like reschedule our, our thing. So I think the only thing I'll do is another meeting Wednesday. Uh, oh, okay. All right. All right. So we'll do something like early next week then, or whatever. Oh, yeah. When you get those, you got to go. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, don't tell Ethan. That's all he's been listening to lately. Yeah. It's like the soundtrack. I didn't tell him about the shortest thing in the world. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, that's Um, this is uh, the Sunderland Selectman hadn't called to order because we were just got done with the uh, this year's caucus. I uh, would like to thank everybody that came. David, which ran a very efficient caucus, he got us in and out very quickly, and we actually had 25 plus people here on time, so we were able to move right through it. So, thank you for everyone that came, and uh, I think all the paperwork has been signed that needed to be signed. Scott, will you, uh, so I'd like to call us to order at uh, 6.55, and it is March 6, 2017. Scott, mm -hmm. would you like to read your passage? It's uh, time for that update, Mr. Chair. This is from the second president of the United States in a letter to his granddaughter. Uh, have you considered the meaning of the word worthy? Weigh it well. I had rather you should be worthy possessors of 1,000 pounds honestly acquired by your own labor and industry than of tens of millions by banks and tricks. I should rather you, worthy, you be worthy shoemakers than secretaries of states or treasury acquired by libels in newspapers. I had rather you should be worthy makers of brooms and baskets than unworthy presidents of the United States procured by intrigue, factious slander, and corruption. John Adams. You know, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Don't they, Scott? That was actually a really raucous election. One was called a murderer. One was, you know, it was, that was raucous. But I think the, the reason for bringing that passage forward, Mr. Chair, is this discussion about worthiness and value. I only know one thing, that, that uh, to stay up with the news that you have to get a Twitter account and, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, stay, and yeah. stay abreast of the, the latest breaking news. Yeah. So. You, I, that, you don't get anything done. Yeah, exactly. It's fast and furious these days. Well, 
thing is, I can't stay up that late or get up that early to, <laughs> to get all the latest. I hear you. So, um, all right. Um, so we had, uh, I believe, there's a person running for each of our elected positions. That's ex that's an amazing thing, um, and I. You know, we sit down and the selectmen, you have to write our annual report that's in the, uh, oh, yeah. that's in the town report. I do kind of miss the fact that when our town had more resources, we were able to print and distribute the uh, um, reports to each address. I think there's a lot of information um, and that, and the reports, I think also um, that the reports allow you to reflect on the on the year that went by, and sometimes it may seem like we're spinning our wheels. There's a lot that that gets accomplished, um, but I think the when you first become a selectman, and and I, I think David, you and Scott could speak to this also, but when you first become a selectman, do you you want to change things, or, or there's things that you get elected, you want to change right away, and and there's this need to 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 make these changes or whatever we call them, um, or different procedures. But I think um, when you when you actually look at it, you realize that meaningful meaningful changes usually take a little bit of time. Uh, they, they they take they they may take a little bit of time for them to occur. Um, there's if if you get into the job for instant gratification, um, I would say ask any member of the uh, school committee about instant gratification because that just doesn't appear to happen that often. Um, things are much um, you you that's why the report are, the, the annual report is it's interesting because you go back from year to year and you look at the things that you've been working on, and it may in classic example is 120 North Main Street. I mean, that thing is zooming. And I'm not being facetious. Yeah, it is zooming fast. around, uh, forward, and it's been two plus years already. Right. Um, and I think it's actually working very well. Yeah. Um, so, but when you but do when you do when you have a chance to sit down and 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 write the selectmen for write what I'm trying to do now accomplish, um, you realize all the people that it takes. Um, to make our town run and it's just not the three of us out here uh, it's not just a town administrator um, town clerk board of health name it it's a lot of the people that come to the Tuesday night meeting that typically aren't on the uh, um, TV or the Wednesday night meetings or the Thursday night meetings yep. or they you know volunteer at all hours of night making calls on the, uh, the fire department or whatever so I, it's just Sometimes you just wish you had the opportunity to thank everyone, and you do in the annual report. But then we only distribute a hundred copies, so that sometimes we don't get it out there as much as we should. But I just want to thank everybody that did show up tonight and who continue that fine tradition of running for public service. Now, saying that, we have the approval of the minutes on February twenty seventh. <clears throat> your motion. Uh, motion on those. Uh, I'll second the motion. Motion made and seconded. <clears throat> All those in favor signify by saying aye. Uh, aye. aye. Sherry, 3 0, please. Um, next up, old business, the uh, Board of Selectmen update. David? Um, the only update is we ha I have a personnel committee meeting tomorrow night, so we'll be continuing our fun okay. with that. It, Scotty? That's no, all. Um, I'm sorry, Wednesday. Wednesday? Night. Yeah. Yes. Mr. Chair, we, we had a meeting of the uh, with the police uh, union last Thursday morning. Uh, we had missed a couple of weeks because of scheduling one of my account, one of the association's account. Um, we're at um, the point where we've shared our revenue forecasts. We uh, are looking uh, at only a couple of remaining items in the discussions. Uh, they they are they are not exclusively principal items, and they're not exclusively money items. But invariably, they're some of the most difficult conversation because, as has been uh, in past negotiations, um, the association, the patrolmen's, the patrolmen's union, 
is is very keen about uh, the impact of a contract over multiple years, and I, I place a great deal of value on that on that perspective, and I really appreciate their uh, their their taking it. So, another meeting, not this week, but next Thursday. Sherry. Um. I have nothing other than we did submit on Friday the Green Communities Competitive Grant Round uh, grant for just over $200,000 nice. um, hmm. to continue our green community efforts, um, update, uh, heating updates here at this building, uh, window inserts for this building in the um, public safety complex. Um, there was a couple of others. Um, but all in all, just over $200,000. So we'll that's see what great. happens. And it's important, if I could, Mr. Chair, uh, Cherry, we, you know, that's only available to us because we completed the prior death. year's work. That's so right. to, yep. to Sherry, I would like yep. to give a big shout out. That's one of the most labor, that's one of the most um, paper that's intense of, of all of the grants. A lot of reporting there yeah. on that one. <laughs> DOER loves their paperwork. Okay. Um, we have new business planning board proposal for amending zoning bylaws. Sure, what are they? Uh, where do we need to go with that? Zoning bylaws. Oh, we did sorry, that. That one. was last week. Yeah. We did. Wrong one. Yeah, we're actually clean. <laughs> Business. Sorry, I looked at it and I went, wait a minute, this is <laughs> 17 was pages there. <laughs> See? I'm trying to keep uh. you guys up a little bit. Um, what? Did, did you want to discuss the budget at all? If I could, Mr. Chair, this is the part of the budget process where the vast majority of the pieces have been put in place. The first pass of the uh, requests have been put in place. The uh, revenue sheet, the one that the town sees that we work off of, that is a uh, uh, shows where all of the, our inputs are. That is the cherry sheet, general government taxation, and all the takeaways, the the uh, assessments from the town. Uh, are all in place and we have to start the topical discussion about uh, the budget in the current year and its uh, sustainability. And we've seen budget growth in the last handful of years, total budget growth of two and three and four percent, two percent, some reductions in, in years past. Uh, there are some, there are some, um, there's some real pressure this year uh, on the education front. And we have a meeting coming up with the uh, school committee and the administration about that. Um, that said, that pressure uh, manifests itself uh, in total budget pressure. So when there are when there are, we look at the bottom line, you know, people who would scan the spreadsheet and go to the bottom and go, well, it's only four percent or three percent, and it seems like it's affordable. That use of available revenues ha really should be recurring for any of the recurring expenses. And we know that education is a recurring expense and highway is a recurring expense and administration is a recurring expense. So I would, I would caution um, the use of uh, so much non-recurring revenue for a recurring expense in the current year. I had a conversation this past week with Sherry about that. And uh, if you look at our revenue pieces, uh, the categories don't change much. It's tax levy, then it's cherry sheet, uh, then we split that with government and education. Uh, we are still working currently off of um, the governor's budget, mm -hmm. and there's still some sausage making to be had up on Beacon Hill about what it means uh, to get the budget out. I, I'm happy that the Ways and Means in both the House and Senate seem to have com come to a consensus revenue. Now, the spending is a, a wild discussion, but... The consensus revenue, at least that's a that gives a direction for cities and towns uh, with respect to the uh, governor's first pass. <coughs> Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. But to the to the to the point, our current status right now, using the free cash guidelines and using uh, revenue estimates based on House One, I'm sorry, the governor's budget, we have we're starting the year off just under a hundred thousand dollars, ninety ninety thousand dollars worth of. Uh, the deficit, meaning that we have to begin looking at our own uh, recurring expenses. So again, a big piece now is going to be what happens in our discussion uh, with the folks at Frontier, with the folks at Sunderland Elementary, understanding what the drivers are in their budget is always a, it's always very, it's very good for me personally and for the board. Um, 
but again, you know, we are in a position right now where uh, using only $127,000 of free cash and using our revenue estimates on, a, on what's been a very successful formula for the town. Uh, we're in a pretty f good financial position, but adding expenses that outrun our ability to raise money equals problems in the years forward. So. Right now, we're at that point. I'm glad to see all the numbers filled in. There's a little more uh, red in the columns than I like, but that's okay. That's what we get paid the ridiculous sum we do for. David, that problem. That's right. That's, that's, it's in it. <laughs> how did that happen? It's in the budget time. Everybody knows how much the selectmen make. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Scott must have a separate line, one of those hidden line items no, that, no. that everybody always talks about. <laughs> yeah. One of those slush funds. Slush funds. Slush funds. Where's Bruce got? when we yeah. need him? Yeah, where's Bruce when we need him? He's got one of those secret Cayman accounts, huh? No. <laughs> well, thank you. You know, this is the, 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 the hard time. This is the, <clears throat> to me, is always the hardest time of the year. Is, is now we, we talk with all the departments and all the, uh, the department chairs. Not yet. We still have to talk to schools. Right. They're right. coming in next week, Sherry? The 20th. Which is probably weeks, later right. in the year than we typically would want to talk to them about. But uh, mm. that's what that's what we got to work with. That's what we're going to work with. But, mm -hmm. uh, and and it's, it's a little difficult. Um, I, I know Frontier's budget is up 1%. Some of elementary is seven percent, seven point, just about eight percent, seven point eight, seven point eight. Mm -hmm. So those are things that we have to talk about and we have to understand, uh, so that when we talk at town meeting, we can we can see if we can. Uh, to a consensus but uh, I, I think the hardest part about doing a budget and I, I have never understood this is that usually the uh, the selectmen are the only ones that look at the revenue side of the, the budget good point um, and so that's why it what puts us in effect it puts us on a on a, in a difficult position sometimes because we're the ones that are looking at the revenue and we're the ones that say there's not uh, there's not the money available and and sometimes that that's a hard but we're looking at the entire budget not just a segment of the budget so um, and it's and it's very hard because you can't look at and say okay highway you can spend a little bit extra this year police you can spend a little extra next year schools you need to hold off for a year or two then you can it usually doesn't work like that because right. usually needs don't right. hold off so it was a great we point. just have to wait and see what what the concerns are <laughs> okay anything else mm -hmm. okay that'll be all sherry anything else you want to take talk about the budget um not at this time Sherry just loses the budget so all the time, but she never wants to spend <laughs> The only yeah. thing that I'm looking at right now is um, backing out the electric costs for the solar project so that we can How set, I put that? a new line item in, I don't know if you noticed in there, I just called it school and town buildings mm -hmm. electric yep. uh, because Good we're going buildings. to have those ins and outs so it makes sense to have one uh, budget line item mm -hmm. for all the town buildings that yep. are going to be benefiting from that. Smart. You know, it, 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 it was interesting the other the other day. Um, I was I was talking to someone and 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 uh, they were um, we were discussing specifically about some of the uh, the pathway mm. complete street projects mm. that were upcoming. And he, and he said, "Where do you plan on getting all this money?" And I go, "It's a good the state." state. Yeah. And they go. The state, I go. Yeah, I said our town administrator has been very, has been very aggressive in the state, and the state has this uh, program to community compacts out there where, where, and there's one of them is complete streets where, they're they're actually we're, they're trying to upgrade our, our streets to make them usable for pedestrians and bicycles and cars and motorcycles and 
and it's trying to and, and make them safer for everybody. And that's how we're looking. And a guy said, so you're using state money? And I go, well, hopefully, yeah. So well, like additional chapter 90 almost. That's yeah. your market for that. Right. Right. And, and, uh, and I guess we probably didn't do a good enough job of explaining that when we were reviewing some of the plans. So, uh, but we're, ho we're hoping to get money from the state to do that. Yeah, it'll not. come in like an additional chapter 90 appropriation. Right. Yeah. So that's how we're, that's, so in case somebody else had the same question, that's how we're trying to do it. We're trying to do it with two state grants. And to be eligible for these grants, towns have to do certain things. And Sherry and David went to classes and, and to become, I think you had to do for two classes. Yeah, the Complete Streets 101, and then there was a 201. Yeah. And, and so we had, um, we actually, go to these members of our town, go to these classes, and they get certified by the state. And then once you've done, done, you jump through that hoop, then it makes you available to get certain grants. So that's how we're looking at doing that. Right, and I guess we should have made, I should have made that more clear. Okay, mm -hmm. anything else? That's all, Mr. Chair. Motion? Uh, motion to adjourn. Second. I have a motion made and second to adjourn. We will reconvene next week, the 13th. Uh, 6.30, oh, yeah. If I could, Mr. Chair, just as a side note, um, as we talk about community, I'm wondering, did, and this is, this is, I'm putting it out. I, I hope everybody read um, the piece in the paper about, uh, or heard uh, in the news about the fundraiser that was held up in uh, Conway, uh, where it was, a, you know, gumbo night and live music, people from the community, and uh, at the end of the night, when they tallied up the, uh, the, the the coffee can, if you will, of cash, and they had twenty five hundred dollars they'd raised in cash, and that was that was beyond what they had hoped to raise. And at the bottom of the coffee can was an was an authorized cashier's check to the fund, anonymous, for fifty thousand yep. dollars. That's good community. Yep. Yeah, it's fabulous. Well, that wasn't me. I, <laughs> I understand, but I, you know, we, we live, we if live. You're, if you're a searching, Scott, it wasn't no. me. No, David, we, we, you? No, it wasn't me. We, we, ha we happen to live in such a, such a, a, a wide, noisy, narrative-filled bubble that these wonderful right. stories at our neighbors' houses and churches go by the wayside. So let's not lose sight of that. I thought that was a great story. That was. Yep. Oh, great. Um, sometimes we should pay less attention to the national news oh. and more attention sure. to the local news. Although sometimes the recorder has a hard time printing good right. local news. <laughs> right. They, they, <laughs> and exact. But uh, good I point. think if you look within our communities, you'll see a lot of... And, and, and for that matter, and we can tell that we have... I mean, every night, we made... We, the Selectman made a conscious effort many, many years ago to never get a stamp or an electric pen. Yep. Yep. Um, so <laughs> we have we have a great fortune. Um, before the meetings, we have at our desk a folder hmm. with that that have items that we need to sign. Yep. And so every time, um, whenever a contribution is made to the town, no matter from five dollars to a thousand or ten thousand dollars, and yep. there are those those donations that come in yep. that people they don't want that publicized. But when the donations come in, um, there's a letter drafted, and and we will affix our signature to. And I can tell you that um, for the last month and a half, we've been signing many many pieces of paper for people that are contributing to the. Uh, to the 300 celebration right. and, right. and you know twenty five dollars fifty dollars a hundred dollars two hundred dollars yep. yep. three hundred dollars five hundred dollars whatever the number is there's people out there that and, and again it's the same same mm -hmm. thing you're saying so I just I just think sometimes we maybe we look too national we really need to look in mm -hmm. anyway we have a motion thank you for bringing that up those guys yep. a motion made and seconded any further discussion yep. All those in favor of adjourn adjournment, please signify by saying aye. Aye. We will be out of this meeting at uh, 7 18. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, Pat.
You're gonna have to just go across the hall in a couple of months now, FCAT. Yeah. 